guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about pediatric maintenance fluids and why they're so important. So most of us who do interfacility transports, either on an ambulance or on a helicopter, if we go to transfer an adult patient and they've got maintenance fluids running, what do we do? Yeah, we turn them off and say the receiving facility will restart them when we get there in 30 minutes. But with pediatric patients, it's super important that we keep those maintenance fluids going. So why is that? Well, all patients, regardless of age, have something called insensible fluid loss. And that's how much fluid we lose just from breathing. So if you think about it, <gasps> when I exhale, some condensation forms on this mirror because there's there's humidity coming out when I breathe, but I only breathe about 12 or 14 times a minute because I'm an adult. But what about our pediatric patients? They're breathing 30, 40, 50 times a minute, or if they're sick with some kind of respiratory uh, pathology, they're breathing even more times per minute. So they're losing a lot of that humidity and that requires continuous replacement of those fluids. As well, the pediatric maintenance fluid of choice always has glucose in it, depending on your agency or your hospital. It's either D5 half NS or D5 NS, but either way, it's got glucose in it because I've I ate a whole bunch of cake yesterday. I got plenty of glucose reserves to keep me going, but pediatric patients, their metabolic rate is so much higher and they're burning through so much more sugar that they need that constant sugar. That's another reason it's really important to check our glucose levels on our pediatric patients. So how do we know what it, what rate to give these fluids at? Well, it's called the 421 formula. You're gonna give four mils per kilo per hour for the first 10 kilograms of body weight two mils per hour per kilogram of body weight for the next 10 kilos, and then one mil per hour per kilo on the rest of their body weight. Now, if I just totally lost you, hang on, let's do a couple sample problems together. So I have an 18 kilo patient. Please excuse me, I don't know why I shake so much. Uh, and their pediatric maintenance fluid rate is going to be 56 mils per hour. Well, how did I get there? Let's break that 18 kilos up. Remember, four, two, one. The first 10 kilos, I gave them four mils per kilo per hour, so that's 40 mils. For the rest of their body weight, because they don't have another 10, they only have another eight, I gave two mils per kilo per hour. So add that 40 plus this 16, gives me a total rate of 56 mils per hour for that patient. So let's take a heavier patient. Let's say we've got a 23 kilo patient. Their maintenance fluid rate is 63 mils per hour. Let's break it down. The first 10 kilos, they get four mils per kilo. The next 10 kilos, they get two mils per kilo. One mil per kilo for the rest of their body weight. Add up that 40 plus 20 plus three, it's gonna give them 63 mils per hour of pediatric maintenance fluid. Hope that helps you. I'll see you on the next video.